everybody welcome back to my channel this is mahogany rose aka bethany and i wanted to come to you with a my winter hair care routine during any kind of season change you really should be changing up your products depending on how moist it is outside how cold it is outside how hot and dry it is outside um, and so during the winter months you really have to infuse the moisture because of all the dry heat and then going out into the dry cold that's outside it really throws your hair for just straight up prone to dryness and breakage so during the winter months uh, I actually incorporate co-washing into my hair routine I was using the as I am coconut co-wash one week and then I would do the uh, main choice heavenly halo line their um, herbal hair tonic and soy milk deep hydration shampoo the next week I switched up methods as well I was using the LOC method, liquid oil cream method, and I have switched to using uh, the LCO method, liquid cream oil method. So I was doing my little spritz spray with um, aloe vera gel and uh, some other things in it. And then I would use my oil mixture. And then as my creams, I was using the um, 3 in 1 Revitalizing Refreshing Conditioner and the Coconut and Hibiscus Curl and Style Milk. And then on top of that, I would go on top of that with um, the Mimosa Hair Honey Mask from Carol's Daughter. Um, and then I was putting my um, mango butter on top of that. So uh, I was using a lot of stuff. <laughs> and doing that, I noticed that I was still suffering. My hair felt great. It was very, very moisturized. But I noticed that my scalp was just on fire. like, And it would be flaking. And... Um, I am like medium to low porosity hair so I really have to be careful about what I put on my hair and so I decided to switch it up. I decided to um, stop co-washing because obviously that does not work for me. That's why I stopped doing it in the first place. <laughs> Even though I was trying y'all, I tried, I tried, it just don't work for me y'all, I tried, Lord knows I tried. So I switched it up and I'm going to show you guys um, what I have been using. So instead of co-washing, I'm just doing stray shampoos. I am using the Shea Moisture Manuka Honey and Mephora Oil Intensive Hydration Shampoo. It has figs, fig extract and, and boab, bo, bobab oil. Excuse me. This stuff I've used before and I can't really remember why I did. I strayed away from it um, but I used it before and I didn't really like it but uh, this go around I really 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 loved it I like the smell it's it leaves my hair super super moisturized even after I'm done shampooing um, my hair is still like wet for at least up to an hour or so if I just don't put anything in it like no oil no nothing my hair stays really really wet which is unusual um, but I really like this stuff. It's for high. It says hydrate and replenish dry and damaged hair, sulfate free and color safe. There you go. And I actually, I also changed up um, what I have been using as far as a conditioner. I got out of using Main Choice, and I love Main Choice, but y'all, that stuff is expensive. So I'm always trying to find something that's a lot cheaper that works either just the same, if not better. So now my liquid is just water. I switched to this Shea Moisture Jamaican Black Castor Oil Strengthen and Restore Leave-In Conditioner with Shea Butter, Peppermint, and Apple Cider Vinegar. I've actually used the shampoo from this line. I don't know if y'all can see that. I used the shampoo from this line, didn't like it at all. It left my hair feeling stripped and dry but this um leave-in conditioner it actually really really good and it actually detangles my hair yes leave-in conditioner detangling my hair so let me just show you it's actually kind of thick i know i got some hair pieces in there um it's it looks thick but when you put it on it's actually very thin it really really melts into my hair it has a really light smell to it. Um, it almost smells like Play-Doh, like a floral Play-Doh smell. Um, <laughs> but it's really, really light. So it's not that bad. And then when you put it on your hair and you mix it with other stuff, it just kind of, yeah. 
but a, a little bit does not go a long way with this stuff. I am I am already heavy handed and I have to use a lot of this stuff. Um, but it does when I, I noticed that when I put it on my hair, it really melted in and I was able to actually detangle my hair um, really easily. Even though I do some detangling beforehand, I do detangling with my deep conditioner too. Um, I noticed that this really helps detangle my hair as well. So that's what I'm using as a leave-in conditioner. And shout out to will on a whim for hipping me to this product he actually hit me to the jamaican black castor oil leave-in conditioner and he hit me to this coconut and hibiscus curling gel souffle with agave nectar and flaxseed oil this stuff i don't normally use gel on my hair i don't do wash and goes they just don't really work for me but i was noticing that he was using this stuff um for his twist outs and braid outs and things like that and I was like let me give that stuff a try and one of the reasons why I thought about doing it is because it has flaxseed oil in it and I have done a homemade flaxseed gel and I'm just not a fan of it I'm sorry I'm not a fan of it but this stuff kind of reminds me of flaxseed gel it has a really light uh, scent to it and it really left my hair really really moisturized um it almost it looks thin it looks really thin and when you kind of put it on it's not very sticky as you can see it has a real light hold but it has great moisture and so i have been using that as well um just to add an extra layer a protection onto my hair along with my oil and then my um, mango butter yeah mango butter seal it <laughs> I actually cut down from um, having to use like seven to eight products in my hair down to using like five or six which is really really good because the less stuff I can put on my hair and to have it stay moisturized I feel like the better because I'm not having to layer so many products on my hair so I'm just gonna take my homemade slap down <laughs> and just let y'all see I don't know if you guys can tell because my phone camera isn't that great I'm still working on getting a better camera you guys um, so I don't know if you can see how shiny it is like after the first day or two of having it in my hair and it drying it was not really sticky but you can feel the moisture like I can do this to my hair and yeah yeah so and it feels moisturized it feels juicy like my hair feels juicy you know so let me just take one of these down so y'all can see the definition that I'm going to get Ooh, look at that bank check shrinkage is real y'all <laughs> yeah so that's the definition that it gives you can see there's no um, flaking my scalp is clean my scalp's not itching. It's not dry. Let me just twist this back up loosely. Um, so I really enjoy this new uh, hair care routine that I've been doing. And I'm going to continue to to do it. I've only been doing it for about a week. I'm also going to be incorporating um, some clay washes into my hair care routine. I was going to do some Jamaican, not Jamaican black. I was going to do the um, African black soap. I was going to do like a homemade DIY concoction uh, African black soap shampoo because I hear people raving about it. But I'm going to hold off because I really like the way that the uh, Shea Moisture shampoo is doing with my hair right now. And the less amount of stuff that I can make for myself the better just because I just don't have a lot of time <laughs> I just like I said wanted to come to you guys with my winter hair care routine maybe you guys can pick up a few tips from it again I do have 4A to 4C hair medium to low porosity hair and these are the things that are working for me this is the technique that's working for me 
I do still wash my hair once a week. And that's another thing. A lot of people say, you know, when your hair is so juicy and moisturized for so long, you don't need to, you know, wash your hair that often. Well, I've been suffering from protein overload. So I've been trying to get the moisture back into my hair. So I may actually just keep on washing my hair once a week just so I can maintain keeping that moisture in my hair and reinfusing it. So um, I will come back to you guys with an update. We'll see how it goes. And hopefully you guys like this video. Um, please subscribe, share with your friends. Bring the people into the family. Let me know. Let me know what's going on in your life. Leave some comments below and I will talk to you all later. See you next time. Bye.